Okay, so welcome to this video about the reactivity series. Now, what I'm going to do today is put some metals in solutions of other metals. And what this is going to be able to help us uh, sort out is how reactive one metal is compared to another. Um, I'd love to have things like gold and platinum and things, uh, but we know they're unreactive because we use them for jewellery and ornaments and things. Um, but you've got other metals like sodium and potassium, rubidium that we've uh, discussed in class that are so reactive, they're actually kind of dangerous. Um, but there's everything in the middle. So doing these experiments actually helps us determine uh, which ones are more reactive than others. So what I've got here is I've got four test tubes and I've got, uh, they're all filled up with um, lead nitrate. Now, um, all I'm going to do then is put different metals in different solutions. So I've managed to get hold of some silver. Okay, and I'm going to put that in. I've got some copper. Got some zinc, and I've got some magnesium. Okay, now what I'm hoping that you can see here, and let me just zoom in, is that the silver has not really done much. The copper has not really done much. You might have noticed that as soon as I put the zinc in, it turned black, and the magnesium has turned black. Now, what this is showing then is that with regards to um, reactivity with lead nitrate, silver and copper are unreactive, and zinc and magnesium are reactive. And you can actually start seeing now, it starts glistening on, uh, let's see if I can get it in focus, it's not going to focus for me, okay, you can just about start seeing it glisten there, okay, so that's the reaction with lead nitrate. So what I can do then is I can play around with what solutions I actually use. And let's imagine that I've got magnesium sulphate and zinc sulphate. And I've then got two test tubes. The one on the left is full up with zinc sulphate and the one on the right is with mag sulphate, magnesium sulphate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my magnesium into my zinc solution and I'm going to put my zinc in my magnesium solution. Now what we can see here is that the magnesium is reacting straight away. You can actually see some bubbles there um, but um, fundamentally the magnesium is turning black and I can just show you that and you can see there that's where the line went in so that there but there is no nothing that's happening to the zinc now what that shows is that magnesium is more reactive than zinc because the magnesium is displacing the zinc from solution so that tells us which ones are most reactive so what about the least reactive okay so again, if I take my, if I've got two solutions here, the solution on the left is copper sulphate and the solution on the right is some silver nitrate solution. Okay. Then what we can do is we can put some copper into the silver nitrate solution. Can put some silver into the 
copper solution. Okay, now you can already start seeing the copper starting to change colour there. And again, if I just take, oh, it slipped into there, but there you go, you could see the, uh, the black line move. Now, over time, that copper is reacting with the silver nitrate solution. So the copper is more reactive than silver, and the copper is displacing the silver from the solution. So there we have it. So, if I was to have these four metals, silver, copper, zinc, magnesium, I can do some reactions to show that the silver is least reactive and magnesium is the most reactive and that the two in the middle, copper and zinc, are in that order. So what do you think would happen if I put a piece of magnesium into silver nitrate solution?